This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Now I'll explain you about explanation of line spectrum of hydrogen. Okay, the in line spectrum of hydrogen, this is a very important property associated with the electron in the energy. It's stationary, which is given by the following equation. You know this equation, uh, En is equal to En is equal to minus Rh one divided by n square. Okay, where n is equal to one, two, and three and so on where rh is called Rydberg constant you know and its value is also you know 2 minus 2.18 into 1 uh, sorry wait minus 2 point uh, minus 2.18 into how much i given minus 18 so this is the Rydberg constant value 1 by n square where n may be n is equal to 1 2 3 4 for the energy of the lowest state is also called that is called ground state when you are applying given one means again minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 divided by 1 by 1 square so how much you are getting this is minus 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 joule okay so this much you are getting this is called ground state okay so this is called ground state where uh, uh, consider that e2 means n is equal to 2 so just you are applying it minus 10 raised to minus 18 so that is 1 by 2 square how much you are getting this is called excited state minus 0 0.5 5 into 10 raised to minus 18 joule so this is the line spectrum of hydrogen so there this is called uh, ground state and here which is called excited state okay so in this ground state and excited state so that the electrons can move from one energy level to another energy level like from ground state to excited excited to ground state okay so when it is emitted from ground state when it is jump from uh, excited state to ground ground state it will emit emission will possible when out just from ground state to excited state if it is moving means it will be absorption takes place so then delta e is equal to what you can write here so i will erase it okay so next to mm -hmm. okay so now just consider this as a delta e okay so where rh is equal to 1 by n i square minus 1 by n f square so the where uh, the, you know the Rydberg constant rh 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 okay where i is initial energy level state and this is a final energy state so delta e means so delta e you know delta e is equal to h into v correct so where uh, see uh, delta e is equal to h into v so this is rh okay so or then also this is equal to this delta e is equal to hv and uh, this formula so v can be written as delta e divided by h so delta e value means the this equation you have to substitute here is equal to rh into 1 by n square minus 1 divided by n f square then divided by h you are writing okay uh, so this is about v okay how you can write so after solving all this i will erase it and uh, just i will show everything okay so you know uh, delta e is equal to hv is equal to rh into 1 by ni square minus 1 by nf square okay so where uh, you have to find v means h divided uh, so you just write like delta e divided by h 
delta is rh into 1 divided by n i square minus 1 by n f square okay so where this is divided by h you can write like this so applying all the values of this 2.18 into 10 raised to uh, minus 18 into 1 divided by n i square minus 1 divided by n f square so where h is a Planck's constant this can be 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 minus 34 this is the next after solving you are getting 3.29 into 10 raised to 15 okay so as this is 1 by n i square minus this is 1 by n f square so this is about frequency associated with energy absorption or emission can be given by this formula okay so this is line spectrum of hydrogen how you can calculate here energy what do you mean by delta e equation and v equation okay so then you can easily solve the problems based on this next the coming to the problems of this what are the frequency and wavelength of photon emitted during a transmission from n is equal to 5 state to n is equal to 2 state in the hydrogen okay so they are asking what is the frequency and wavelength of a photon so just now i derived the uh, frequency uh, okay v is equal to you know delta e divided by h you know h planck's constant value so delta e is given by uh, rh into what is that 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square i means initial or final energy state that is ni square so you know the so first you have to find out the delta e value where rh is equal to 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 joule so where initial state is n is equal to 2 sorry initial state there during transmission from initial state is 5n 5 square minus 1 by 2 square so after solving this how much you are getting minus 4.58 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule okay so it is an emission energy the frequency of photon then you have to find the frequency of photon how you will find the frequency of photon so v is equal to delta e divided by h now you got the delta e value is minus 4.58 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule divided by Planck's constant you should remember the value of Planck's constant 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 14 joule second so now you are getting 6 after solving 6.91 into 10 raised to 14 hertz is the frequency okay next if you want to find out the value of lambda so there is a relation between this frequency and wavelength c is v is equal c is equal to v into lambda if you know this then you can find the lambda lambda is equal to c by v we know this is a velocity of light 3 into 10 raised to 8 correct so that is meter per second and the wavelength they have given no how no sorry this is v this is v okay where v you know 6.91 into 10 raised to 14 so that is in hertz so now how much how what you are have to write after solving this it is in wavelength so that you have to write in nanometer means whatever you get 434 nanometer is the answer for wavelength okay so this is the answer means just glance it they are asking about the frequency and wavelength you know the frequency uh, formula is delta e by h delta e for delta e this is the formula first you find out the delta e and you know the h is a planck's constant value then you are solving that you are getting here there is a uh, they are asking for the wavelength so applying the formula so you will get this one okay and the next problem is calculate the energy associated with the first orbit of helium what is the radius of this orbit they are asking energy what and the radius is what okay so en so you know how to calculate the state stationary orbit en is equal to minus rh divided by n square correct and atom 
ओके सो वेर द आर एच यू नो माइनस टू पॉइंट वन एट इन टू टेन रेज टू माइनस एटीन जल पर दिस वन एंड एन स्क्वायर इज सो वॉट इज एन स्क्वायर यू हैव टू राइट सो जी आर माइनस टू पॉइंट वन एट इन टू टेन रेज टू माइनस एटीन पर वेर जेड इज हीलियम जेड एटोमिक नंबर इज टू स्क्वायर ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इज वन सो आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ दिस हाउ मच यू आर गेटिंग माइनस एट पॉइंट सेवन टू इन टू टेन रेज टू माइनस एटीन जॉल प्लीज नोट डाउन ओके नेक्स्ट द दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट द रेडियस ओके रेडियस ऑफ द ऑर्बिट इज गिवन बाय इक्वेशन यू नो रेडियस आर एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टू नाइन नैनोमीटर इंटू एन स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय जेड फॉर जेड फॉर द हीलियम इज इक्वल टू टू एन इज इक्वल टू वन सो अप्लाइंग जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टू नाइन इंटू टेन रेज टू स्क्वायर इज वन स्क्वायर द एटोमिक नंबर इज टू सो हाउ मच यू आर गेटिंग फॉर दिस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सिक्स फोर फाइव नैनोमीटर सो दिस इज द रेडियस सो जस्ट रिमेंबर द फॉर्मूला सो दैट यू कैन ईजिली सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ओके एंड द नेक्स्ट इज लिमिटेशन ऑफ बोर्ड्स मॉडल ओके सो इन आई हैव गिवन सम पॉइंट्स ऑफ द बोर मॉडल नाउ इन दैट इच इज ऑल्सो हैविंग द लिमिटेशन ओके सो फर्स्ट लिमिटेशन फॉर दिस इज फेल टू एक्सप्लेन द स्पेक्ट्रा ऑफ एटम्स हैविंग मोर दैन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इट कैन एक्सप्लेन द हाइड्रोजन स्पेक्ट्रा बट नॉट इट कैनॉट एक्सप्लेन द स्पेक्ट्रम एटम्स हैविंग मोर दैन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन ओके सो दिस इज द लिमिटेशन वन इट कैन एक्सप्लेन स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एटम ओनली नेक्स्ट फेल टू अकाउंट फॉर द स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रल लाइन्स सोर्स ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रम इज प्लेस्ड इन अ स्ट्रॉन्ग मैग्नेटिक एंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इट इज फेल टू एक्सप्लेन द स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रल लाइन्स ओके वेन इट इज प्लेस्ड अंडर स्ट्रॉन्ग मैग्नेटिक एंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड सेकेंड वन ओके नेक्स्ट टू ड्यूअल नेचर ऑफ पार्टिकल एंड द अनसर्टिनिटी प्रिंसिपल्स वॉर इज नॉट इन द बोर्स एटॉमिक मॉडल सो यू नो ड्यूअल नेचर वॉट इज अ ड्यूअल नेचर ऑफ वेव मीन्स विच इज हैविंग द ड्यूअल नेचर ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन विच इज शोज एक्सिबिट्स पार्टिकल नेचर प्रॉपर्टी एंड ऑल्सो वेव लाइक प्रॉपर्टी ओके सो इट इट कैनॉट एक्सप्लेन दिस वन एंड ऑल्सो इट इट इज नॉट एबल टू एक्सप्लेन एंड ऑल्सो इट इज इग्नोर्स द अनसर्ट Uncertainty principle. Okay, uncertainty principle. I will explain you in later. So this is ignored by the Bohr's atomic Bohr's model of atom. So these are the limitation. So this is about the limitation of Bohr's model. Okay. So please concentrate on the what do you what is the some postulates of Bohr's model? What is the limitations of Bohr's model? And how the lines and he explained the line spectrum of hydrogen. okay they may ask you about a passion series lyman series palmer series about that and based on the formulas you can you can uh, have uh, some uh, problems on in the examination and those are the very important and very simple by applying just formula you will get the answer so please concentrate on the problems also okay